Hello, welcome to RCC's Math Tape 094, Solving 3x3 Systems of Linear Equations. In our work so far, we've worked with 2x2 two two systems, two equations with two variables, but this tape extends our work to a larger system. As you work through the material, take careful notes. We will work only one example, so you'll have to pay close attention to it. Mark on your notes any place you don't understand so that you can get help when you go to the lab from a lab instructor or a tutor. Now let's begin. On this tape we have only one objective and that is to solve 3 by 3 systems of linear equations. I'm going to begin with a procedure. The procedure takes longer to write out than it does to do even though the problems in this section are long. So let's take a look right away at how we go about solving a 3 by 3 system. This is the procedure to solve a 3 by 3 system of linear equations. We will have five steps. Step one, use the addition method. Use the addition method to eliminate one variable from any two of the equations. Step one, use the addition method to eliminate one variable from any two of the equations. Remember that your system has three equations. You pick any two of them you want to and you go after one of the variables and eliminate it. Step two, Use the addition method, again, use the addition method to eliminate the same variable from any other two of the given equations. Use the addition method to eliminate the same variable from any other two of the given equations. We must eliminate the same variable if you chose in step one to eliminate x, then in step two you must use the same variable, also x, as the variable to be eliminated. We begin by picking on any two of the equations we want to. In the second step, we must involve the remaining equation that has not yet been used, and so we pick any other two of the given equations. The one we have not used yet, and one of the ones we used in step one. This gets, gets us to step three, which is solve the two by two system obtained from steps one and two. Solve the two by two system obtained from steps one and two. How have we got a two by two system now? From step one, we eliminated a variable, maybe x. From two of the equations, that leaves the other letters, maybe y and z. In step two, we eliminated the same variable we had done before, that is an x perhaps, leaving us another equation with y and z. And so that gives us two equations with the same two letters, y and z. So we solve that two by two system obtained from steps one and two. When you solve the two by two system that you've obtained, you'll get answers for both of the letters in that system. That means that you've got the job two thirds done. Two of the letters have numbers, number solutions. We must only get the remaining letter and so back substitute, step four, back substitute to solve for the remaining variable. Back substitute to solve for the remaining variable. Back substitute, you recall, means that we fill back into an equation that has this remaining variable. We fill back into an equation the numbers that we already have and find the one that's still left to be found.
the only thing left is the all-important check. This time the check must be in all three original equations. Check in all three original equations. It's not good enough to have an answer that works for the first equation or maybe for the first and second equations. It must work for all three equations. Let's take a look at our example. Our example is to solve this system. Now be sure you copy this down correctly. One of the biggest problems we have in solving a long problem like this is miscopying something. All it takes is one miscopied number or sign or placement to ruin everything. So let me read it out to you. The first equation is 2x plus 3y minus z equals negative 8. Second equation, x minus 2y plus 2z equals 13. Third equation, 3x minus y plus z equals 9. We're to solve this system, that means we must have a number for x, a number for y, and a number for z, an ordered triple of numbers. We begin by using the addition method to eliminate one variable from any two of the equations. So that we can keep up with which is which, I'm going to number these equations. So over here to the left, outside the brace, here's equation number one, here's equation number two, and here's equation number three. So our equations are numbered and we can talk about them now knowing which is which. I'm going to choose to eliminate the letter Z. I'm going to pick first of all equations one and two. And so I'm creating a small system with equations one and two. I'll recopy those two equations as if we have a new system that's now very small. For equation 1 and equation 2, 2x plus 3y minus z equals negative 8 and x minus 2y plus 2z equals 13. To eliminate z, I must use the addition method to eliminate z by creating coefficients for z that are opposites of each other. I have negative 1z, positive 2z. The common coefficient should be 2, but different signs, and so I'll multiply the first equation by 2, the second equation by 1. 2 times the first equation, 1 times the second equation. That gives me 4x plus 6y minus 2z equals negative 16. And x minus 2y plus 2z equals 13. Two times equation number one and one times equation number two. This will eliminate z. Now when I add the equations, I get 5x plus 4y, the z's cancel, and that's the way it's been set up, equals negative 3. This is a brand new equation that has been obtained from putting together equations 1 and 2. <clears throat> Let's call this one equation number 4. Equation number four is 5x plus 4y equals negative 3. Now I go back to the original system 